In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what are some ways that readers choose books? Last week, we began selecting just right books so that we can work toward becoming better readers. Today, I want to teach you some things you can look for when trying to find a just right book. We choose books to read in many different ways and for many different purposes. For example, I really like to read historical fiction when I'm trying to learn a certain time period. It's just more interesting to me than reading from a textbook. However, when I'm trying to find out more about something, like the International Space Station, I might choose a nonfiction book with lots of pictures and captions to learn from. If I want to read something for fun or pleasure, I might just go to Judy Bloom's Tale of a Fourth Grade Nothing. A few things to think about when finding a book. Favorite genre, great illustrations or pictures, authors we know and like. What are some things you do when looking for a book? Turn and talk to your neighbor about how you decide what book to read. Pause the video and come back and join us when you're ready. Some ideas might include back cover information, characters we've read about in others, other books, another book in a series, interesting title, book recommendations from teachers and friends, books that are movies. These are ways we can select books we might be interested in. How many of you see something in the list that you had not thought about before when it comes to selecting books? Today's book talk is about a boy named Willie, and the book title is Stone Fox, and it's by John Reynolds Gardner. Let me go ahead and share the book talk information. I'm looking for students who are practicing slant for good listening skills. Here is book talk number two, Stone Fox. The tale begins when Little Willie's grandfather, known only as Grandfather, refuses to get out of bed one day. The old man had lost the will to live. The local doctor, Doc Smith, suggests that Willie should come to live with her and let someone else care for Grandfather in Searchlight. Little Willie is determined to save his grandfather, however, so he and Searchlight plow the fields and harvest the potatoes together. Little Willie discovers that Grandfather is ill because of the backlog of taxes that he has failed to pay. Clifford Snyder, a tax collector for the state of Wyoming, reveals that the farm owes $500 to the state. Willie only has $50 to his name, and after trying to get help from everyone in town, including the banker, he signs up for a dog race that has a prize of $500. It is then that little Willie meets Stone Fox, an indigenous man who has never lost a race. Stone Fox has been using the prize money from the races to buy back tribal land for his people. Let me know if you are interested in reading a copy of this book because I can get you a copy to read. Due to his speed and familiarity with the first half of the course, Willie and Searchlight lead the pack when the race begins. Willie is able to cut across the frozen lake. As Willie passes by the farm, he sees that Grandfather has risen from his bed and is watching Willie and Searchlight race. Willie is ecstatic and forgets to check behind him. Stone Fox is nose to nose with Willie before the little boy realizes that he is close to catching up. I have a connection to this book because I have been to the state of Wyoming before with my family and we stayed on a dude ranch in, in a wild country like, like the kind that the dog sled race might have been in. Remember as you find you your reading spot today that you will begin reading from a just right book. You can use several strategies to help you choose your book. You might like the title, it might be a favorite author, you might like the pictures, or it might be a book that has a character you've read about before. We talked about other ideas that are listed here. I'll leave these up in case your teacher wants to revisit this slide for you to pick just right books. You will have your normal 20 minutes of independent sustained reading time, and after that, you will practice with your book club discussion group and answer the following questions. What book are you reading now, 
What is one interesting thing that happened in your book? And don't forget to start filling in your reading log for the day. In-class reading counts too.